Examining the connection between gum disease and heart health. The long-established link between cardiovascular disease and dental health may be caused by inflammation and bacteria. Periodontal disease, sometimes known as gum disease, affects about two-thirds of adults over 65. Plaque, a sticky layer of food particles and bacteria, begins to accumulate around the teeth. In the initial stages of gingivitis, inflamed gums are prone to bleeding. In its most severe form, periodontal disease can lead to tooth loss and loosening if left untreated. Individuals suffering from periodontal disease have approximately twice the risk of experiencing a heart attack in comparison to those with healthy gums. Some of this correlation may be explained by shared risk factors, such as smoking, eating an unhealthy diet, or not having easy access to medical and dental treatment. On the other hand, a few viral and bacterial infections also seem to raise the risk of stroke and heart attack. Furthermore, accumulating data points to inflammation and bacteria as potential causes of the mouth-heart connection. Since your mouth serves as a portal to the rest of your body, it seems sense that dental health would have an impact on your general health and vice versa. According to prosthodontist Dr. Tian Jiang of the Harvard School of Dental Medicine's Department of Oral Health Policy and Epidemiology. In the mouth, there are naturally occurring bacteria of hundreds of various kinds. Certain bacteria, when fed glucose, release acids that erode your teeth's enamel, leading to cavities. According to Dr. Jang, some bacteria cause plaque, which, if it isn't cleaned off with frequent brushing and flossing, turns into tartar. These stubborn calcified deposits can only be removed by a skilled dental cleaning. Gum disease symptoms. You might have periodontal disease if you encounter any of the following symptoms. Red, swollen, or sensitive gums, easily bleeding gums, mucus between the gums and teeth, bad breath, buildup of firm yellow or brown deposits around the gum line, teeth that are loose or separating, dental appliances no longer fit properly. Moves of the bacteria. The germs that cause periodontal disease have the ability to enter blood vessels all over the body. Indeed, Periodontal bacteria have been identified in blood clots from heart attack victims as well as in the fatty debris, atherosclerosis, that clogs arteries distant from the mouth. We detect bacteria in places they shouldn't be in heart disease and gum disease, Dr. Jang explains. An influx of white blood cells is the result of the body's immune system reacting to these misdirected microorganisms. Inflammation that follows can result in microscopic clots, which can trigger a heart attack or stroke. Furthermore, a 2021 review article about oral health and cardiovascular disease in the American Journal of Preventive Cardiology found that individuals with periodontal disease were more likely to have diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and obesity, all factors associated with an increased risk of heart disease. Dental professionals and hygienists can remove tartar above and below the gum line by using manual scalers or ultrasonography equipment as a treatment for periodontal disease. This deep cleaning, also called scaling and root planning, is more thorough than the twice yearly cleanings patients usually receive at the dentist. There is little proof that treating periodontal disease will lessen heart attacks or other cardiovascular issues, even if it may help lower blood levels of inflammatory indicators. Guarding against periodontal disease. Daily brushing and flossing is crucial to preventing gum disease. It can even be used to treat gingivitis before it becomes worse. You might see some bleeding when you resume flossing if you haven't been doing it lately. Some grow nervous and quit flossing when that occurs. But don't worry, the bleeding should stop in a few days if you just get back into the routine. Make an appointment with your dentist if, in addition to the symptoms listed, you observe further indicators of gum disease. A nutritious diet is also beneficial. Most individuals are aware that sticky sweets, such as candies that are chewy or firm, encourage cavities. However, sugary beverages like sodas also feed the germs that cause gum disease and cavities, especially if you drink them throughout the day. 
This also applies to refined carbs, which are found in foods like white flour breads and crackers and adhere to your teeth. Furthermore, a diet heavy in sugar is linked to an increased risk of heart disease. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more healthcare related content. Make sure to turn on your notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new video, like, and give your comment. Thank you. Wise World Healthcare